Nighttime rescue in the Mediterranean can be intense, a scene that's full of action and sometimes risk. At the heart of this, people like Asma, whose task it is to instruct migrants in distress so that a safe transfer from the Rabbadingi to the rescue boat can happen. Everyone should wear a rescue jacket first, and everyone should try to help others if they can. On board the ship, it gets emotional, especially when babies are involved. Very frightening to think that these women are traveling in this condition. Had it happened anywhere else? Had they delivered in Italy? Had they delivered on the rubber dinghy? Who knows what would have happened? Christina's father was a child when his family migrated from Eastern Europe to Germany. My grandmother and my father, who was a child, they were speaking and uh, telling the story. So this is a kind of continuation of a human experience, and I can really deeply relate to this. The work of rescuers never ends. Helmi and Tashan help with the registration of migrants just rescued, with utmost care and precision. Diala and Mathilde deal with communications on board and the media. Dr. Sara takes care of the sick almost 24 hours. It is absolutely unacceptable that in 2016 people are dying because we lack a safe way to get them out of outrageous situations from their homes. We need safe passage, we need government policies that allow for this, and we need to stop building walls in the sea and in other countries to prevent people who need help most desperately getting it. As the ship cruises the Mediterranean on the way back to Europe, it's like a city on the move. Mission accomplished for the volunteers and for the migrants who've just stared death in the face, a definite dash to destination life. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, on the rescue ship Aquarius mm -hmm. in the Mediterranean Sea.